Freshman Corey Bilberry and DJ Jackson are running almost neck and neck in the battle for the starting point guard spot. Amazing considering that we're more than halfway through the season. Neither has earned the start full time, but neither has lost it either. Whoever has the hot hand gets the start. Um, yeah, it's kind of a close end thing that he doesn't have a set group of starters. So every week, you know, whoever practices for or plays the best during the game that week, you know, kind of gets a starter, gets the bulk of the minutes. Whoever's really had a hot hand is playing better and producing for the team gets the bulk of the minutes. The good news is as freshmen, both DJ and Corey will be around a long time to continue their battle. Each has the utmost respect for the other one. They're friends on and off the court despite the competition. Personally, I don't think about it as competing against DJ because we go out and practice every day. So whoever's good, whoever practices good that week is who's going to start or who's going to, who's, whoever plays better when they get in or who's going to keep on the floor. So I don't, I mean, I just go out there and play, honestly. Um, me and Corey like it because me and Corey are, you know, friends off the court. So we just put each other every day to make each other better and stronger. So when we play other teams, you know, we're both prepared. DJ, DJ's a, a true point guard. So he's, I mean, he played point guard all his life. So he knows where to get people the ball and, and how to, how to get the offense going and Corey as well. He just, you know what I mean? They kind of put him at point guard, his, his shooting guard is his true position, but he came, he came along and learned through it and, and figured out to be a pretty good point guard. Both players admittedly make freshman mistakes. However, they're improving more quickly than most as evidenced by Bill Berry's 10 assist, one turnover outing against Lamar and Jackson's 13 point performance against Stephen F. Austin. Still, it is not high school ball anymore. It was a big adjustment, but you know, with the support of my players and the coaches, you know, it was just something that something I enjoyed doing. It's kind of like enjoying the process to see, you know, how much better you become, stronger and quicker you have to become. It's difficult for me because like my style of high school basketball was kind of, you know, just we were better than everybody else. So we never had to, it's never, it wasn't too complex, but with Coach Say, you know, it's more of a strategic game. And so I'm trying to just learn how he plays and learn how where I fit in with all that stuff. So it's pretty hard to be honest. Thank you.